Good morning, everybody. Um, so it's Tuesday today. <laughs> I didn't really vlog anything yesterday because I don't know. I just kind of had a. I mean, I had a pretty busy day, but I was also vlogging on TikTok and I just kept forgetting to pick up my camera. I didn't really do anything exciting. I went to the gym, did some groceries, and then went to work in the afternoon and then went for a walk and it was lovely. I'm still feeling pretty, like, not 100% since having COVID. Um, I couldn't work out properly yesterday morning because I had so much like phlegm and stuff on my chest that I just couldn't breathe. So I tried to start a workout and my heart rate just like went straight up and I was like, no, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> so I changed what I was doing and I did get like a workout in, but it was just like much lower intensity, which was good. So I'm going to go to the gym again this morning and hopefully I can actually work out, but... Uh, it's not looking promising because I'm so tired from yesterday. So I definitely, like, when I go to the gym, I definitely need to remind myself that I can't do as much as I feel like I can. <laughs> because if I actually, like, if I go as hard as I think I can, the next day I'm just way too tired to do anything. So. Oh. So I'm going to make some toast. I bought this yesterday. Chai tea, low sugar. This is the brand that we used to have at my cafe and it was delicious. I used to love it. I bought these from Coles. They were just like, or they were these, I can't remember. The home brand <laughs> chai latte. And they're so like spicy strong. They have so many spices. I reckon you'd like this one because it's more kind of like, I don't know. It's smoother and less like spicy than this one. But I'm, this one's grown on me. I mix it with coffee, a coffee sachet, and it's yum. Where's that? I just had it on its own. But I also brought this, bought this bread yesterday. And if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It's high fiber, low GI, to like bread. It's like $3 for a loaf, so I wouldn't say it's cheap. And I love it because it's got like flour on top. And I don't know, like, when it's in the toaster, it just goes so extra crispy or something. I don't know. It's just good bread. Stop. What? You can't just act normally when there's a camera there. What do you mean? You're always doing stuff for the camera. <laughs> like... <laughs> Honey, Vegemite. Mm -hmm. I just got home from the gym and I just back in my car quickly and I'm about to give it a quick rinse because I noticed that there's a lot of like bird shit on it and I've left it in the past and it's completely like eroded my paint in little spots so I'm gonna try wash it off It's 12.30 now and I have not eaten since I went to the gym so I guess you could say this is quite the angle. I guess you could say that didn't fix it. <laughs> I'm hungry, okay? I'm just doing some eggs on toast. We don't have any ham sadly so I've got avocado, tomato and spinach. And while I wait for my toast to toast, I'm going to have some mango. But I want to know whether other people 
I did a poll on my Instagram and not many people were supporting it. But basically I picked this from, I went on a walk yesterday afternoon and I picked this off someone's mango tree. And it was still green, as like all the mangoes are that are on trees around here. But, this lighting is so bad, but there's just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And it's on like pretty high heat. And all I'm doing is one eggy crack him in and then I do egg whites so I'm a high cholesterol bitch so just kind of fill up the rest of the pan okay let me get some water and we cover it up I'm gonna go avocado my toast so my egg kind of just looks like one massive egg <laughs> and I've salt and peppered my avocado toast I'm just gonna add a little bit of baby spinach and then my tomato that I chopped up. Let me just pour it on there. I just top it with some barbecue sauce and some Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Sauce. And then we can go eat. Also, I'm having a Pepsi Max vanilla because I bought it at the shops yesterday but didn't really drink it. Sort of different background at the moment because we're house sitting for our friends at our gym for the next few days so not in my usual space <laughs> um we just got here this afternoon it's wednesday i haven't i vlogged a little bit at the gym this morning but other than that i haven't done anything we went to the gym and then we came home we came home showered changed got our stuff um packed for here and then went to ben's friend's house and then we've been there like all day we had lunch there had a swim in the pool and just hung out with a couple of his friends and then yeah now we're here i don't know what i've done to my shoulder but i did something at the gym we were doing we were meant to do bench press and strip pull-ups i was actually like excited for that combination even though it's freaking hard it's fun and then my very first set of bench press i did four at 45 kilos which for me like isn't really that heavy and I don't know I just got up and I must have done it a bit funny and I was like oh my shoulder like that really kind of pulled weird and then I tried to like move around I tried to do some strict pull-ups and I couldn't even lift my arm up to grab onto the bar I tried and then I was like straight away I was like no and then I had to completely change the workout that I did because I can't use this arm for anything and it was making me like really frustrated because I feel like I always get these small little niggly injuries that stop me from doing things and it's just I'm sick of getting them but it was also like really painful and I didn't really realize how painful it was until I got home and I tried to shower and like trying to wash this armpit like this is the most I can lift my arm up if I try and like push it a bit more it like starts hurting I can touch my hair but like if I go to reach for my towel out the front it hurts it's like really like pushing down like on my knees just then that hurt it's like it'll be fine and then I'll do something and it'll just like oh zero to 100 and it's so painful I'm just so confused <laughs> what I did but we're just going to relax now it's such a rainy day outside it's been raining pretty much all day so we're gonna relax and watch some Netflix on the lounge and I wish we had snacks but we don't have any and I really want some hi vlog <laughs> It's currently... <laughs> it's currently... And apparently... <laughs> um, it's just past midday and we've been driving around all day. We're working for Ben's dad. And I went to vlog this morning but as soon as I turned my camera on I died. So that was fun. I'm not much help because I can't lift anything with my shoulder. So Ben had to do most of it. I'm kind of just here for the, for the ride today and the coffees yeah we are oh. so i felt like a coffee because i'm tired because i slept like shit 
and near the factory there's a Macca's. So we went in to get coffees, obviously, and they have the new like gourmet, gourmet? I don't know if that's the word. They have like the fancy um, caramel, vanilla, and hazelnut coffees like with the whipped cream on top. So that Ben gets a caramel one of them, and I just got an iced latte. And then, so we get it, and I was drinking mine, and I was like, this is weirdly weak and like sweet, and like, I didn't ask, I specifically asked for no sweetener, so I was really confused, and then Ben was drinking his, and he was like, it's really shit, like, it was weak, and then it wasn't sweet either, because I tried his, and then eventually, we figured out that they put the whipped cream on top of my coffee, and then, so I was drinking Ben's, and he was drinking mine. So I didn't, I only drank like maybe half of it because I didn't feel like a sweet coffee and I was pissed. So then we we were going up to drop the chairs off and I spotted a Starbucks up in Caboolture of all places, which isn't like a very, it's not a very nice area. So it was really random for them to have a Starbucks, I feel. And it's so nice inside. I've only ever been to like one Starbucks, the one in the city near the orthodontist. But yeah, I decided to get a coffee. And I nearly, <laughs> I was so close to buying like a mug or like, they have the big tumblers with like the plastic straws. And I really wanted one, but I want like a clear one so that you can see the, the Starbucks logo better. So I decided not to buy one. But I also, I got, I got an iced Americano with a little bit of skim milk. I finally got my coffee that I wanted. How much longer do we have to drive? An hour! You said 36 minutes. Hmm? Oh, I said arrive at 102. <laughs> 36 minutes, okay, that's not too bad. Look at like the Coles like made easy meals, but we've never tried them before and we decided to try them tonight. So let's hope they're okay. We've got Moroccan lamb phyllo rolls with feta and pumpkin going in. And then we've also got slow cooked boneless pork shank. And we're gonna have that with some salad. Good morning. It's 10 past eight and we are gonna go down the freaking bus. We're gonna go down the coast this morning and go to breakfast at a place that I've wanted to go to for ages, but just never got around to going. And then go for a swim and then we'll probably just come home because we've got to go to the gym this afternoon. So I only, we only just woke up not long ago. I'm just gonna get dressed and go. I'm very excited. I forgot to say how my appointment went yesterday. He said that it's just aggravated and that I've got to rest it for this week and then go back after a week and he'll see how it is once the inflammation's like settled and see if I have to have an MRI. But he said it's, he's pretty sure it's not a tear because I can still like put like resistance with my arm and there's no like clunking or popping or like getting stuck in any position so but it's in my bicep tendon slash labrum apparently your bicep tendon like go like kind of turns into your labrum but this is how i have to put a shirt <laughs> shirt on there we go fun demonstration does this look okay, or is my bikini top too see-through? Yeah, that's good. Yay. Ben's making noodles. <laughs> it's 12, it's 12 o'clock, it's sunshine, it's fine. <laughs> Pre-breakfast snack. We love it.
we got back a little while ago and we've just been like chilling and I'm a little um I guess you could say I'm peckish I'm gonna make a dirty chai with this low sugar chai stuff and my favorite machine the bro I'm very excited because today I also grabbed some donuts, which you probably would have already seen, but we haven't tried them yet. So I'm going to try them now. I got a Biscoff cheesecake donut, which is this one, the, the biscuit kind of slipped off. And then I think this one is like a salted caramel pretzel. Okay. Ben's already tried one of the, he's tried the Biscoff cheesecake. Do you want to try the other one? <laughs> Eat my whole hand. Oh, the biscuit's all soft. Cheesecake. Mm. <laughs> I feel like good. Yeah. It's like nearly four o'clock now and Ben's gone to the gym and I'm just about to do something outside. I have no idea what <laughs> because I can't really do too much with my shoulder. I've got one 15 kilo dumbbell that I brought from Ben's house and I'm going to try do something to do with that. I just couldn't be bothered going to the gym because they have such a like a decent like big session that they're gonna be there for like hours and I can't really do that much so there's no point in me going and then just sitting in there most of the time. May as well do like some little session here, see what I can do. Maybe go for a walk or a run and then I'm gonna go get the groceries for dinner. Oh my brother is coming over for dinner. I'm very excited about. He has work in the morning, so he's not gonna stay with us tonight or anything. He's just gonna come for dinner. We're gonna make some pasta. What are you doing? Sitting right in the way. Saturday. So as you would have seen this morning, we got up in, we got up quite early this morning. We woke up because they have a gala and she gets covered at night. But in the morning when it gets light, she starts screaming <laughs> at like between like 6.15 and 6.30 every morning so far. She's very needy. <laughs> she just wants to be uncovered because I think because it's light and she can see in like the back of her cage into the house. She, cause she like comes and she looks through the window and she like screams and she's a galah so she's loud. So she's been waking me up every morning for me to go uncover her. <laughs> so I, went, I got up this morning and then we were both just awake. So we kind of chilled until we went to the gym. I had to change the workout completely. It was meant to be 
toe to bars, deadlifts, rowing, and war balls. And I did sit ups, echo bike, and squats. <laughs> so it was hard, it was fun. And then I ran 3K on like the machine. It's not like a normal treadmill where like it's the belt spins whatever speed you set it. It's like it spins however fast you like push it with your feet. Kind of just like free spins. But they're so hard because you have to like push with your feet the whole time as you're running. And then it made my hamstrings and my calves like blow up because you're kind of like pulling the treadmill to try and run. It was really hard. I'm actually proud of myself for doing 3k though. And now we are having some food. I'm gonna have eggs on toast and a coffee, I think. And have a coffee. Coffee. Because I'm trying to make the most of having <laughs> a machine. I love them. Wow. <laughs> Is that all you want to show me? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's going down? Yeah. <laughs> and it's gone. Oh.